Moment of truth. Ooh, well, you know what? Hey guys, it's Wenji and back to school hugs. So today we're testing some back to school life hacks from 5 Minute Crafts. If you're on YouTube, you literally would have seen at least one of these because they're like everywhere. But I feel like some of these DIYs are too good to be true. I mean, they could be true or they couldn't be true. So I really wanted to test them to see if they're legit. All right guys, so the first hack that I saw is a DIY eraser. You can stick to the end of your pencil for all those times when you run out of the actual eraser that they give you because, you know, they only give you like a little nubbin and you always like run out. Oh. It's just like a little bit ridiculous. Just put a hole in a normal big eraser and stick your pencil in. That's not gonna be awkward. Anyway, let's just test it out. I could just kind of use this, you know, keep it in my pencil case when I need it, take it out. But instead, this hack is telling me to attach it to my pencil. So instead of just using it like, you know, a normal eraser, we gotta test out this hack. I've got this because I don't wanna hold it with my fingers because we gotta use this thing to attach it to the back of our pencil. I don't like tools, guys, because they sound dangerous. Like, listen to this. <laughs> this is not safe. I'm gonna test this for you so you don't have to risk your life attaching your eraser to the back of your pencil. So the first step is don't use your fingers to hold it because that's just really dangerous. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm really scared. Maybe attach it from the side. Oh! Hacks. Well, maybe it's like intelligence. Who knows? Good tip, Max. Good tip, honey. Ooh, ooh. Me and tools just we, we don't match. It's not in the middle, but we have some sort of hole. Okay. You know what? It's not as scary as I thought it was. It just smells bad and is very noisy. All right, guys. So you can see the hole is kind of a bit too small for the pencil. So I'm gonna go in and uh. Okay hey guys, is it gonna fit? I'm gonna squish it in because the eraser is stretchable. It's on, it's not gonna fall off. It's on the back of my, my pencil. All right, we're gonna test this out. This is really hard to write with. It's really heavy. Anyways, let's just like use it because we spent all this time making it. This is even awkward to like erase stuff with. Yay. All right guys, so I don't know what you guys think, but I think this hack is ridiculous. Not only does it make it harder for you to write, it looks ridiculous. Like imagine you being in class, right? And your friends are sitting around you and you're just there like, I got a big eraser in the back, so I'm never running out. Like, no, this is weird. And also it's dangerous to make, so don't try it at home because it's super dangerous. And also like, it's just hard to like erase things like this because it's not ergonomic. I can't believe I removed my cute DIY unicorn horn for this. I'm switching. Anyways, you can find out how to make this on my channel. Like, this is cute. The next life hack is creating a rainbow line using a bunch of different markers. Wow, okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. I actually think this would work because I've done similar hacks with the highlighters and it does work, but they could have picked some better colors. I feel like we're gonna make a pretty uh, rainbow line today. So these are the markers I have today. We're missing a green, like we could have made a rainbow, but we're gonna make a unicorn rainbow. How's that? All right, so first off, I'm gonna start by deciding kind of what order I wanna do this in and I'm gonna go like this order. You know what? I'm gonna take out the orange. I think that's gonna be pretty. So I guess we start off with the last color is how they do it. And then we kind of like do this thing where we're like, hey. They make it look like super quick in the video, but I feel like they kind of sat there for a while. Let's go with red. Okay, maybe we do like nub to nub. It doesn't look as satisfying as that video, like taking it sweet, sweet time. I feel like nub to nub is our best solution. And our final color is yellow. Oh, look, working, it's turning yellow. Yes! Are you ready? All right. Whoa! We're we getting purple. It's so pretty, I'm running out of space. <laughs> now that end bit really ruined it. I know. <laughs> 
Honestly guys, this was so cool, really fun to do and like really really simple if you have like a bunch of markers at home. And the thing is like I thought it would ruin the tips of my markers. I was actually the most worried about my yellow because it was the lightest color. But it's super clean, didn't ruin any of my markers. I have a beautiful like rainbow snake thing, I don't know. Maybe I should work on my artistry a bit more before I attempt this again. But I think it'd be a super cool trick if you had like something to color in. You could totally color it in in like a beautiful rainbow gradient. Yeah, very impressed with this hack. 10 out of 10. So the next hack is turning an F grade to an A grade on top of your exam paper. So if I was a kid, I would have loved this hack. It would have been a dream come true. Not that like I got a lot of Fs, but like I'm sure I have gotten one in my life. And you know, having Asian parents, like literally, Like it's too good to be true. They just lift it off. I'm like dropping my phone because I'm like in disbelief. They lift it off the F with just like a bit of masking tape and like just drawing over it. No. That can't be real. I'm dubious. Don't know what they used to draw the F with, so I'm gonna test it out with all options. Red pen, red pencil, almost red crayon, and a red Sharpie. I'm gonna see if it works on any of them. I have my other two tools for the hack, which is the masking tape and the pencil, which apparently works magic. All right, so I'm gonna draw some Fs. We're gonna have the orange crayon, let's pop it here. A red pencil. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot to draw the little circle. Broke the red pencil. Oh, wait. Ah! And then finally, the red pen, which I think is gonna be like the thing that most teachers will use. And we're gonna get some masking tape. We're gonna start off with this Sharpie, which I highly doubt would work. So what they did was like, they literally just colored over the F. The moment of truth. Is the F gonna come off? Am I gonna not fail this grade? A little bit of it came off. Let's see if we can get this crayon F off. I'm gonna like really get into this and dig into this. Maybe a chance it works. All right guys, the moment of truth. Is the crayon gonna come off? Ooh. Well, you know what? Nope, still there. Still a failure. This is the red pencil. Come on. Red pencil should be like the easiest. I'm covering all areas. Should all be off now. Oh, look, look. Hey, that's kind of promising. What if we went at it like one more time? <gasps> you know what? It's just because they're paper. Look, you know what? A plus. That worked. Final test, guys. This is the real important one, the red pen. Let's go over it. I bet after all the teachers watch this, they're gonna start marking in red Sharpie. Sorry, guys. All right, the moment of truth. Is it gonna remove red pen? You know what? No red pen came off at all. Alright guys, so that's the results of my testing. I don't feel like personally that it works. The only time it worked is when I ripped the first layer of the paper off. And you know what? If you rip the whole thing off, of course it works because you just remove the entire layer. I think I'm gonna rate this hack a 3 out of 10 because I personally don't think it works. Let me know in the comments box below if it worked for you. But so far, kind of don't see it working at all. Alright guys, so the next hack is apparently a way to teach you how to hold your pencil properly. And I know myself, I still don't hold a pencil properly to this day. <gasps> so maybe this hack will help me. this hack I would definitely learn how to hold a pencil properly but that being said after like they had the hack they just wrote it really badly anyways so I don't know if it actually helps with your handwriting at all but it probably helps you have a good posture so um let's give it a go I actually don't have any hair ties so we're gonna be using some rubber bands all right guys, so to start off this testing, apparently I'm gonna have to write like this. I mean, who, who writes like this? I guess some people do. Let's start off by testing it without a hack. Not very neat. So I like to hold like this. 
My writing is normally neater than this, I promise. All right, so let's hope this hack saves me. Okay, well, we're gonna get a rubber band or a hair tie. So you're gonna have these between your two fingers. You're gonna go under, you're gonna go over, and then you're gonna spin it around and hold it on like this. Hey, I'm holding my pencil properly. That's kind of cool. Let's write unicorn again. I mean, this feels really weird, guys, because like I don't hold my pencil like this. This hack is pretty cool. All right, guys, which one is the neatest? The silly one, how I hold it, or the hacked unicorn? pretty cool. I feel like that's like the first time I've held a pencil properly in a very long time. But with that being said, guys, I don't actually write on paper that much these days because I actually like type a lot or use my phone. But anyways, I'm gonna give this hack like a 9 out of 10 because I think if I knew this when I was younger, I wouldn't have gotten into a bad habit of holding my pencil wrong. All right, so the next hack is supposed to be a way to stop you from losing your pen lids and your highlighter lids. I know I lose my lids a lot. Like, I probably lose my head if it wasn't attached to my body, but you know, there's no hack for that. You know what? That was kind of like the most obvious idea ever. When I was young, when I reached the age where I could have my own set of house keys, I really, really just wanted a pretty key ring that represented what I liked at the time. But my parents made me wear my keys around my neck on a string because they thought I'd lose it. <laughs> so it's almost like the same concept of hot gluing your lid to your pen. They literally just tied my keys around my neck. All right guys, so we got a highlighter, we have a pair of scissors and some string. So I'm just gonna cut it off here for now. So basically it's supposed to be like hot glued here and then hot glued here. I feel like if you had an elastic band like this and you cut it like right here, this could even stretch. I feel like this is an even better idea. It's prettier, you can match it. Wenji's Hack Improvement 101, that's what I would do, but we gotta copy exactly what they did, so uh, bye-bye. All right, guys, so we're gonna apply some hot glue right here on the bottom, attach the string. All right, and let's hot glue this to the top of the lid. All right, all right guys, so it's kind of dried. I kind of feel like this is like my little pen handbag. Let's test it out. Let's use this highlighter. Let's open the lid. Well, <laughs> that's a fail. Okay, this is not the greatest hack. What do you guys think? All right guys, I've been tricked by this hack. There will be times when you want to pull the lid and you accidentally pull too hard and like hot glue is not the strongest thing when being attached to a very smooth plastic surface. In theory, it was such a great idea. Uh, now that I've tested it, probably not the best hack. I'm gonna give this a two out of 10. You know what would have worked though? The elastic band. Wendy hacks. I mean, it's kind of a cool toy though. What do you think? I hope you guys enjoyed me testing these five minute craft hacks. Let me know what you guys think if you tried these down below. Also, if you guys see any hacks on anything online you want me to test, request it down below and I'm gonna test them out for you guys. And until next time, bye guys, love you. Mwah.